John, thanks. And we have just learned 725 undocumented individuals have been in the custody of the Fairfax County Sheriff over the last year, but just three were transferred to ICE. 7 News' Nick Minock reports one of the men recently arrested in connection to a murder is in the country illegally. New tonight, ICE confirms one of the men that the Fairfax County Police Department arrested in connection to a murder in Oakton is a Honduran in the U.S. illegally. ICE tells 7 News the Fairfax County Police previously arrested Maude and Annabelle Guzman in March and charged him with malicious assault for severely injuring a victim and he did not appear in court. And ICE says the Fairfax County Police once again arrested him on June 28 and charged him with malicious wounding. ICE says they issued multiple immigration detainers against Guzman, but the Fairfax County Sheriff's Office refused to honor the ICE immigration detainers. In a letter this morning, Fairfax County Sheriff Stacy Kincaid explained to 7 News she requires a judicial warrant in order to transfer inmates to ICE. Loudoun County Sheriff Mike Chapman says his office honors ICE detainers even without a judicial warrant. We need to make sure that we're not keeping these people in our community that can do further harm. It makes no sense to me to allow these people to stay in the area, you know, and then commit another crime if we know for a fact that they're violent and that they're here illegally. Fairfax County Sheriff Stacy Kincaid, Fairfax County Commonwealth Attorney Steve Descano, Chair Jeff McKay, and the Fairfax County Board of Supervisors have been pushing for sanctuary county policies. In January 2021, Chair McKay and the Fairfax County Board of Supervisors passed a policy 9 to 1 that does not allow county employees to share resident citizen status so undocumented immigrants in Fairfax County can feel free to access county services. It's called the trust policy. And as a result of that policy, the Fairfax County Police Department does not ask people who they've arrested for their citizen status. And FCPD does not share citizen information with federal immigration officials. Discano has also said he will not cooperate with ICE, nor will he notify or alert immigration officials about defendants his office comes into contact. Nick Minox, 7 News.